Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I got the moon up still, still, always. <laughs> uh, but look at that sky. Oh, as daylight approaches, I'm going to start out with some aluminum gutter downspout. Make it flat. corner Ooh, don't let go of that so yes definitely a beautiful start to the morning hopefully find a load of scrap metal take a ride to the scrap yard make some crash make some cash have some fun we'll see down the road I believe I spy an old bicycle and a plastic baby gate uh -huh. shaky shaky We'll just do that for now. Something more to add. Oh, I don't know if this camera does it justice, but the full moon with the orange clouds and the blue sky, psh, it is a pretty morning. And I got a, uh, what is this, like a trundle bed? Uh, or is Paul Cosm the Pinchomatic? Make it a little flatter, or am I just setting the mouse trap? than the truck bed, huh? it up.
well my knot tying skills are not the greatest or even good it's all right one way or the other Well, I'll keep it there. Not exactly the most aerodynamic, but down the road. Something else amongst the garbage. Ooh, what is that? Aluminum pole. I will take an aluminum pole. Eh, we'll just show it right there for now. Oh, oh, satellite dish. And the baby stroller. Good morning. And away we go. Bought me some peekaboo scrap. Hmm, interesting. Oh, that's plastic. Umbrella stroller. Come out of there. Conveniently folded up for the scrap man. That's uh, just that's just screen cord. Dump you right here. Mm, is that me? Probably. Little try her lint. Yeah. I think that is a roll of sheet aluminum. It is. I love how they have it in the recycling bin. Because, uh, I mean, the city does not recycle scrap metal. You know, most people have no idea of the items that are accepted in the recycling bin. And I've actually spoken to the folks who uh, drive the trucks, and they always tell me to just take it because. All they're going to do is throw it in the garbage. So it just saves them a step. Spot something shiny. Shiny metal. Ooh, and a little extension cord. Huh. even know what those are hmm. let's face it I scrap a lot of stuff that I really don't know what it is I'm gonna guess it's some kind of heating element though Take these. Well, I've got some cords on them anyway. And I have to take a guess that that is some kind of heating element for something. these over 
over here in the corner. Not that they'll stay, but we'll try anyway. So, some cords, some, I don't know, <laughs> more junk. All metal. Yep. And of course, an old barbecue grill. interesting folks to ask me why bother with a barbecue grill like this because these don't weigh much and they're bulky and take up room but you know the thing is is you never know what you're gonna find that barbecue grill might be all I find for the rest of the day so oh there's a quarter how is there a quarter in my truck look at that making money and didn't even do anything uh, but yeah, you know, you never know. I mean, this might be all I find today. So you take what you get sometimes. Uh, let me just stick this around it.
Yeah, perfect. There we go. You know, one of the stores must be having like a sale on stereo equipment because, you know, I've been finding an awful lot of it lately. And find a spot for a couple rusty chairs. Do they? Yeah, they do. Okay, cool. Uh, hmm, that way maybe. Making a mess. Leave the biological material here. Some long metal, all right. Uh. <laughs> Easy slip and slide. video with a hospital trip. <laughs> Well, 
safely packed down the road. Spot something. Hmm. Uh, yes, please. Now I'm not messing with the Swiffers, no. Club, sure. Oh, steel. Goodies on the curb. Ooh, a hot water tank. I think I can manage a hot water tank. And a garbage disposal. I know, I should have parked closer, right? Then I wouldn't have been able to practice my rolling skills. This is a heavy little bugger. Get up there. Ugh. Boy, for a small tank, that thing's got some weight to it. really lightweight yeah that is a perfect example of helium steel <laughs>
much more. taking the wicker chair. Aluminum pooper scooper. Collection Noblest Barbecue Grill. Ooh, rusty. Got wheels. I think I could find a home for you. minutes ago I actually made a stop and picked up a microwave a little later
lady was flagging me down on the side of the road with her walker and said I could have a microwave, but it was in her kitchen. She just couldn't carry it. So I went and got the microwave. Uh, doing good deeds and making money. Let's see. go my shirt ah, that'll work actually coming sort of Too far to go and I am not gonna be going very fast to get there down the road made it to the scrap yard and the pile has moved out new brass all kinds of appliances out here today all kinds of goodies mm. little trailer over there. <laughs> That's cute. All right, I'm going to add my own goodies. Make sure don't fall and hit me in the head. Gravity assist. And I did stop and get the brass goodies off of this hot water heater. And like I said, I was surprised it actually had a uh, a brass drain valve. Most of these new ones all now are plastic everything. 
Man, this thing is heavy. I thought for sure I was gonna take the, the drain valve out and gallons of water was gonna come out. Uh, let's see. I think I got a cord over here. Got a couple of them. in there hmm. that one Oh, 
extra hose hanging there. Bye, bungee cord. All right, let's go get a ticket. All right, back at the homestead. Uh, what does the ticket say? Um, 600 pounds, still six and a half cents. So paid me $39. Uh, I'm gonna call it a pretty successful day. I mean, I got some cords, I got some aluminum in the back, and I did get me some brass goodies off of that hot water heater. Um, hey, $39 from 10 Shred? Hey, I'm good. <laughs> it was a beautiful morning. Uh, it's actually still a beautiful morning. Uh, good day to get a few things marked off the old honeydew list. You know, the list that just keeps growing and growing. <laughs> ah, well, what else am I gonna do? But that's going to do it for me, folks. So until next time.